So I'm Vicky, I'm one of the ungulates keepers here at Auckland Zoo. Angular is just a fancy word for hoof stock, so a hoof mammal. As you can see behind me, we have a new member of our zoo whanau. This is our male giraffe calf. So Billy, his father, came to us three years ago from Australia Zoo as part of the Australasian breeding program. The team were monitoring the herd, Billy in particular, as he was getting closer to breeding age. Um, and they did notice some behavioural changes, which is what made them think that Karaka might have been mated. Um, and everything led on from there. So Tommy and I were in that night before about nine o'clock at night watching her and we came in and done a visual check because we knew she was in labour. Um, I went home and was on camera watch that night and managed to see that her water bag passed at 5.43 in the morning. Tommy and I made it in and the majority of the ungulates team were here for the entire birth, which was fantastic. He was born at 7.15 and he stood approximately at 8.01 and Karaka straight away was a natural mother. From licking him when he was first born to stimulate his breathing to following him around and cleaning him when he started getting up and walking around. So we noticed as she was birthing him that he was going to be pretty tall. One way we noticed was that before he had even finished the birth completely, his nose was already on the ground, so he really didn't have that far to fall. He's approximately six foot five, around 195 centimetres, which is quite tall considering giraffes are normally born about six foot. Um, his grandfather, Forrest, is the tallest giraffe in a zoo in Australasia. He's been listed in the Guinness Book of World Records and stands at approximately 18 foot eight inches tall. So next steps for us will be slowly introducing him to the rest of the giraffe herd. We will be starting off with the females and then we'll add Billy into the mix. Once the giraffe herd is all back together and integrated, we will then look at introducing him to the zebra and the ostrich. I'm just so excited and so happy to be in this place right now. I mean, there's nothing better than in a zookeeper's career, especially as an ungulate keeper, to be able to work with a, a baby giraffe calf. Highlight of my career, absolutely. Today we've just put the giraffe into the African savanna habitat. At the minute the calf is walking around the habitat. He's came out a little bit slowly where he's only three weeks old. He's still a little bit hesitant just because there's other species around that he hasn't seen before or that he's still getting used to. Our zebra are quite energetic animals I guess. So they're very keen, they're very interested to see the little one. Uh, out here we also have the guinea fowl. So um, they're quite noisy species as well. So he might be a little bit curious about the noises that the guinea fowl are making. He's growing at quite a quick rate at the minute. We got a first weight off him the other day, so he would have been about two weeks old at the first weight we managed to get, and that was 111 kilos. And we weighed him again two or three days after that, and he was 112. So he's actually growing, let's say, just under a kilogram every day, every other day. A male giraffe can grow over a thousand kilograms, um, so just over a ton. Um, so little baby eventually will get to, to that size, um, and the rate is growing now. Um, it will still take him quite a few years to get there. But every day, every time you come to the zoo, if you're a regular visitor, you'll see a different development in him. It might be a slightly bigger height, he might be doing more activities, he might be seen over different areas of the environment. Once he stops suckling milk from mum, he's going to start testing solids, so you might see him eating some leaves. The taller he gets, the higher the browse is going to be, and the more you kind of see him getting up to shoulder height, then to neck height of, of his parents, and eventually becoming a fully grown giraffe over time. So this is a very exciting time for the, the team. Um, this is the first giraffe we've had with the current members of staff we have here. It's also the first giraffe calf I personally have ever worked with. Um, I've been a zookeeper for 15 years. So really exciting going forward, seeing how he develops over time. And yeah, I think we're all looking forward to that journey.